Welcome to the series on how to create a database-backed website. What we're going to create in this next series of videos is an application that keeps track of some jokes. And so we have the finished product here on the page. What you're going to see is something like this. We're going to have a database that we can search. So I've created some jokes and it says what keyword are you looking for in a joke? Let's see if I have anything that has the word chicken in it. Likely have. So I'm going to type in chicken and choose search. And you can see that my search results come up with two. And so I have the famous joke, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side, of course. And then the other joke is why did the chicken cross the playground? Wait for it. To get to the other slide. Ha! And so there you have it. We're going to have some jokes that we can search. We're also going to have some places where you can enter a joke. And so we'll be able to put in a joke question and then the answer and add this joke to the database. Behind the scenes, you'll see that we'll have a database server running. And so the server will look like this. We'll have a list of jokes, and you can see my database of jokes, the questions, and then the answers. And so this will run behind the scenes. So before we get started in the programming, let's take a look at an overview of, once again, of how web servers work. So we'll talk about some languages that you would need to know if you're programming. First of all, let's look at mostly static page web servers. What do they look like? Well, you have the web browser on one side and a web server on the other. And the first thing that happens is your web browser, like Chrome, for instance, sends a request to the web server. Notice the picture of the web server is purposely put in a rack. So your web server is likely housed somewhere in a data warehouse in a secure location, and you'll never actually see the computer unless you work there. What's the web server do? Well, he sends back server pages, and so he'll send back the index page and some photo JPEGs and some CSS commands and some JavaScript. Now, I'm also going to assume that you've already looked at all of these kind of materials on the internet. If you haven't done any tutorials on how to create these, then you should back up and look at some of my previous tutorials, because in this one, we're going to work on the behind the scenes work. And then the web browser is responsible to take that and assemble it into a page that it actually can make sense of. Well, what happens if we add another server to the mix? Let's say we have our web browser, a web server, but now we add a database on the back end. This is what it looks like now. The request comes from the client. The server, before it sends anything to the client, goes to the database and gets some information. So it's a database request. So it might say something like this. Select the first name from the table. And so it's going to get a list of names back. And so the reply will look like this. We'll get Mike and Tim and Ann and Juan and Sue. And so the web server then has a variable that is filled with data. Then the web server will send that file along with its usual things. And it will send it to the web browser and the web browser will display it. The difference is that you can see something like I made with my jokes application. You can send a request. The computer then looks up the jokes, creates a web page, and sends it to the browser. And so that's what we call a data-backed web page. In this world of a full stack, we'll call it, a stack of applications that all work together, you'll have something that's called LAMP or WAMP because we have the operating system, first of all. Linux is common. And then we have a web server that actually does the serving. That's the Apache web server, which is one of the most popular on the internet. Next, we have the database in the background, which is MySQL. And then finally, the language that ties those together is PHP. And so, all those together make the word LAMP. Or if you're in Windows, it would be WAMP. So here's the four again. So we have Windows or Linux, the operating system. We have the Apache web server. That's the one that listens to the requests and communicates with clients. Then we have MySQL, that's the program that manages the database. And then we have PHP, which is a programming language that is only used on the server. So let's take a look at this diagram again, but this time pay attention to what languages we need to know how to program to make this work. So the web browser makes a request. The web server uses a language called SQL, or SQL, to communicate with the database server. And so there's a request in SQL and a reply in SQL, and then the web server has that information to deal with. He uses a language called PHP. So that's an internal language that the web server uses. It's one of the most common web server languages. It's not the only one, but it's the one that we'll learn. And then it sends all these things in the languages you probably should know already. HTML, 
CSS, JavaScript, maybe jQuery, and then those things are turned into a web page. So here's the recipe for all of the languages that you should really know to be a basic web full stack application developer. You need HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and SQL. And those all combine together to make a full application. Here's some sample code. If you've never seen PHP before, this is what it would look like. We're going to have a bunch of dollar signs in front of our variables. You can see that. There's a few commands that are at the bottom of the page. And so the uh, PHP language is a little bit like JavaScript. It runs some of the same things. Um, the formatting is a little bit different, though. SQL code looks like this. You have things like select joke question and joke answer from the jokes table where the joke question is like the word chicken. And so that is the request that I made at the beginning of the uh, video here. And so that would be what SQL code looks like. 